All right, in this video, I'm going to go over um, the radius planning tool that I created. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a, quite a few cranes. Um, I've got the uh, Liebherr L, uh, LT, uh, LTM 11200 with a T3Y uh, VEN with 126 meter luffing jib. See way out there. Um, I've got uh, the Terex. Uh, 5500 on the left. I've got a little um, Frana AT40, and I've got the uh, 11,200 with the T7 heavy lift boom on it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the 11,200 as the example. All right. So what what we first need to do is we need to look in the documentation. Okay. So we go not there. Yeah. Here. Um, <clears throat> inside the zip file for the mod, or you can go to the, the Libre website for whatever crane you're look, look, working with. Um, you've got, this is their full document. It has some of the low charts, and then you also have the full low charts down here. Um, we're gonna be using low charts, so we're gonna go to this one. Um, we're gonna be looking for the T3Y, English please, let's see, technical data. So we're looking for T3Y VEN, so page 62. Scroll down to page 62. There we go. Okay, so this is the T3Y VEN. Okay, so here, this is the length uh, that you've extended the boom out to. Um, I've got uh, I've got this. So if we look. I've got 100% on the, f the first section, 50 and 50. Uh, I got to figure out what length that is. Then um, let's see. Uh, I've got this boom extension. This would probably be something good for you guys to have. Boom tip height. Okay, so this is 50. 50 and 100. Okay, so boom heights 43.25. Okay, so this, so we know we got to go down to 43. I may not have done something right on my machine. That's okay. Um, it could be the 40. So I may not have done my calculations right. It could be these that are not right. Um, okay, so we'll do it with this. So we've got the 40.6, right? Then you have uh, the length of the boom, the the luffing jib itself. So we've got so that's so this is all the lattice pieces underneath the luffing jib, and that is the boom extension there. So here is the luffing jib length, and so we've got to go all the way out to 126 meters, okay? So with this, the next level down is we can do 86 meters or 76 meters, or sorry, degrees on the uh, luffing jib. Oh no, that might be the, that, that might be the main boom angle. So this is either the main boom angle or the luffing jib angle. I don't know. I'm guessing it's the main boom angle. I could be wrong. If you know, please let me please let me know in the comments. Okay. So then we start going down. You can start seeing these numbers: 5.4, 5.6, 5.8. These are the weight and metric tons that you can lift, right? But it's not just everywhere I can lift 5.4 metric tons. No, so if you scroll over to the left, at 42 meters, you can lift 5.4, up to 5.4 metric tons using a 126 meter boom, 86 degree main boom angle. Okay. Uh, come down farther, at, from between 54 meters, and 66 meters, you can lift 6.3 metric tons. 
okay and so it goes all the way out to 124 meters 3.2 metric tons or actually all the way up to 132 meters at 3.2 metric tons that's pretty that's pretty sweet okay so what we can do now is we can say hey okay so what's the thing that we're lifting and this is just theoretical so let's say we wanted something to lift we wanted to lift something 5 metric tons all the way out at 88 meters okay so what we can do is we can come into the game all right and let's say we wanted we need to lift something off of that uh, the, the building that, that, that's off in the corner there okay so we go into the store go all the way down here down to the construction go to decoration and scroll oh, then others and keep scrolling right you'll start noticing these these are radiuses Right? So you've got 1 meter, 2 meter, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth, all the way up to 130 meters now. Right? I do have one for, up. I got up to 200 meters for the um, LR13000, um, but I haven't endgamed them yet. Right? So, okay, so we need 88 meters. Let's scroll down. Oh, forgot one. Oh, that's not one. That's, yeah, that's not right. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's 99 meter. I'll fix that. Okay, 88. So here's 88 meters. So here you can see this little circle, and at the center, you've got this little cone. So what this is doing is we can see where all we can reach with that center point being uh, where the 88 meter mark is. So if we needed to move one of those covers, say it was five tons, I don't I don't really know, right? Say we needed to move that one. So we have the edge right on that, and so then we can place it down. So there, we've got our little marker for 88 meter meters and five tons. Well, if we look now, find the chassis planner. Well, if you look at that, you can see when you line up those two little circles, the outriggers are inside the building. All right. So that really means you can't do this lift with the LR1600 in that boom. Granted, I don't think we need a big, huge, a tall boom like that because the building's not that tall. Um, so we, it's probably still within the crane. It's most likely still within the crane's capability, just not with what we had built on that crane, right? So we can remove that. Uh, let's say. So we need more radius, right? So now we can say, hey, okay, now we can come and use, uh, let's see, free mode, need free mode. Okay. So let's say we needed to be able to place the crane here. Okay. Now we can look at what radius is going to be Maybe we'll try a 100 meter radius. Nope, that's still not enough. We need, let's try 115. Okay, so look, if we do that, when we line these up, a 115 meters, we can lift one of those. Turn it. We don't know the weight that we can lift at that radius, um, but now we know it has to be within 100. We have to be able to reach 115 meters to be able to get there. So now we can go back to the lift chart. So 115 meters. So there's 116. So if you look, you've got other booms. 
So here's this uh, 6.5 metric tons. So if we dropped it down from 126 meters down to 114 meter boom, at 76 degrees, we can lift 6.5 metric tons out at 116 meters, which perfectly matches what we've got. But we don't need the boom this tall because of the building, so we can actually even go to a smaller uh, extension. Let's see. So here we don't have 114, so we still need to get out to 116. So here we can do uh, on this one we can do a uh, 28.9 meter extension uh, and get 5.8 uh, metric tons. Here. So that's how you can use some of these planning tools to plan your lift and farming simulator. So awesome! Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys later.